Hi, welcome. I'm David from Optitune, responsible for the product management of our mirror product line. Today I will talk about our 2D tip tip mirrors and their applications. I will start with an overview of the different mirror technologies and benchmark them with each other. Then I will present you with a product portfolio of mirrors and drivers. There are mainly three categories of 2D beam steering technologies. MEMS, galvanometers, and voice call mirrors. Optitune's mirrors are part of the voice call mirrors. This overview shows you the typical parameter ranges for each mirror technology. Often several of these parameters are linked together in a mutually exclusive way. For example, as the mirror size grows, typically the full stroke oscillation frequency goes down. Any of the three mirror technologies has its advantages and disadvantages. Your application needs define what is the most suitable one. When plotting different commercially available 2D MEMS mirrors along the axis of mirror size and tilt angle, one quickly sees that they are in the lower left corner. Either they are limited in tilt angle or mirror size. Galvo mirrors, on the other hand, can have large mirror size and tilt angle, but they are basically two one-axis mirrors integrated in a scan head. This requires a lot of space, leads to double reflection losses and beam shifting because the rotation points of the two mirrors are not at the same location. Now we come to the products. On the mirror side, we have the MR1530 with 15 mm mirror size and plus minus 25 degrees mechanical tilt in both axes. The mirror can thus cover a total field of view of 100 degrees. At full stroke, the max frequency is 20 Hz. For plus minus 5 degree tilt, the frequency is in the order of 40 to 50 Hz. An optical position feedback sensor is integrated into the mirror. The MR1530 is ideal for point-and-shoot applications as well as slower vector scan applications. Here we see the MR1530 mirror and the MRE2 driver in action. The mirror is carrying out a vector pattern scan. For raster scan applications, a frequency higher than 20 Hz is required for the fast axis. The MR1030 offers 250 Hz sign with 50 degree optical field of view on the fast axis and 10 Hz triangular with 100 degrees optical field of view on the slow axis. In this picture, we see the projected scan pattern of a laser hitting the MR1030. The resonant fast axis is operated in open loop sign at its fixed resonance frequency of 250 Hz. The non-resonant slow axis is operated in closed loop at 10 Hz triangular. The MRE2 kits consists of the mirror head and the base unit. The mirror head contains the mirror and the analog driving electronics. The base unit contains the digital driving board and the IOs. You get a turnkey solution with an intuitive graphical user interface. The driver can be controlled over USB and UART. For embedded systems, a fast SPI interface is available as well. We provide free SDKs for Python and c -sharp in order to support a quick integration of our mirror into your system. Hi, I'm Andreas, Application Engineer at Optitude. Today I would like to show you how to get started with our mirrors. What we have here is the MRE2 development kit, which consists of a head unit and a base unit. 
The head unit additionally comes with a heatsink that is required for highly dynamic operation. Included in the base unit is a power supply as well as plug adapters. So, as you can see, I have now mounted the mirror head onto an optical post and connected it to the base unit. Please make sure to properly connect and secure the cable before powering up the device. Next, I'm going to show you how to use OptiTune Cockpit to control our mirror. After starting OptiTune Cockpit, just click to get connected to the mirror. On the left, you can see the serial numbers of both the driver and the mirror. Below, you have different menus. The most important ones are the input signal and control mode menus. For each axis, you can customize the input signal using the drop-down menus. You can set each axis individually to either open or close loop. Make sure that the unit type of the input signal matches the control mode. So, current for open loop and XY for closed loop. Let's assume we want to make the mirror scan large circles in closed loop. We can achieve this by selecting the built-in signal generators. I have already set these to sinusoidal shape with a frequency of 2 Hz and an amplitude of 0.8 for both axes with a phase delay of 90 degrees between them. Pressing set to device will write these settings to the mirror and make it move. For further information on our mirrors, please visit our website. After registration, you will be able to download OptiTune Cockpit as well as two software development kits, one in Python and one in C-Sharp. For more details, please also check the firmware documentation. And don't hesitate to contact us. The first application of the mirror is in Vision Systems. There are basically two usage cases. On the left, the principle of field of view expansion is shown. The 2D mirror, placed in proximity of the camera, allows to select the angle the camera is looking at. This allows then to stitch images together. This results in a very high resolution image by using a standard image sensor. On the right, the principle of area of interest selection is shown. The mirror allows to take a high resolution image anywhere within a large field of view. This can be of interest for example for eye tracking on distance of a few meters, such as for gaming consoles, iris scanning and surveillance. Surveillance applications, for example homeland security in airports and other busy public spaces, have in common that the camera is typically far away from the object. A possible configuration is depicted here. The standalone camera on the right is equipped with a wide-angle objective to capture the overall scene. The camera on the left is equipped with a narrow-angle telelens and looks on the mirror and allows to zoom in and select a smaller area of interest of about 5 degree out of a 100 degree optical field of view. In this demonstration, we combine an OptiTune lens with an OptiTune mirror to greatly extend the field of view and depth of field of an imaging system. The main components of the setup are a monochrome camera, 
a 75mm objective, a liquid lens in front lens configuration and an MR1530 mounted at 45 degrees. Here we have positioned the setup in front of a square 2.4 meters by 2.4 meters exhibition wall at a distance of 1.7 meters. While the camera only sees a small 5.2 degrees by 3.9 degrees field of view, the 2D mirrors plus minus 25 degree scan angle extends this field of view by a factor 500. In this plot you can see the resulting field of view in relation to the wall size and the distortion introduced through the 45 degree projection. Let's now see the setup in action using OptoTune Cockpit. On the left we can see that we are connected to the lens, the mirror and the camera. Moreover, we have an application for the field of view expansion setup. The mirror is alternating between four different positions. We can now adjust the settings for each picture, such as image position and image rotation. Using the liquid lens, we can manually adjust the focus using the slider or we can perform this step automatically using the contrast-based autofocus algorithm. The next application area is Automotive. In this video, we focus on our mirror solution. If you are an engineer in the automotive space, please keep in mind that some of our other optical actuators products, such as liquid lenses, beam shifters and speckle reducers, may likely be of interest, for example, for automotive head-up displays or headlights and ADAS. Our mission for the automotive is to provide reliable enabling components to Tier 1 and OEMs that will make driving safer and, in the future, completely autonomous. In recent years, LiDAR has gained tremendous interest in the automotive field. Various techniques such as conventional time of flight or frequency modulated sensors are now available. However, the performance of beam steering solutions has not developed within the same pace. Most solutions, as of now, are either rotating mechanical or MEMS solutions. The available solutions typically suffer from strong trade-offs regarding the four primary parameters, namely price, speed, clear aperture and field of view. Another challenge are the environmental conditions such as temperature, mechanical shocks and vibration. The relatively small moving mass, as well as the center of mass being located in the center of rotation, greatly reduces the impact of shock and vibrations on our voice call mirrors. This picture shows a LiDAR system from Silk integrated into a car's headlight from Varrock. Two MR1530 mirrors provide a full 20 by 80 degrees field of view Per headlamp. In this case, a coherent frequency modulated continuous wave technique was used and the MR1530 was selected for its compactness, large mirror size and field of view. However, the MR1530 can be applied to any scanning type LiDAR. Laser headlamps benefits are compelling. A near parallel beam of light 1000 times more intense than conventional LEDs, but with less than half the energy consumption. Combine it with OptiTune's 2D mirror 
and you get the most energy efficient adaptive headlight on the market. For your safety, it offers a better visibility over the road ahead. The benefits are compactness, speed, the large field of view and robustness. Another compelling application for cars would be a foveated vision system that imitates the human vision. For example, a street sign in a distance of 100 meters corresponds to 0.3 degree optical field of view. You need about the resolution of 100 pixels by 100 pixels to identify the street sign without error. If you assume that the street sign is placed anywhere within a field of view of 100 degrees by 40 degrees, you would require a 400 megapixel camera in order to do the job without our mirror. Also inside the car, area of interest selection would be beneficial too. For example, scan between multiple areas of interest and take high resolution images. Applications are iris scanning or driver fatigue detection. Another application area is optical free space communication. Here the MR1530 mirror can play a role of a coarse and fine steering unit. It would allow for optical communication between satellites, aircrafts and ground vehicles. The mirror also finds many applications in the medical domain. In optical coherence tomography, our mirror can replace traditional Galvo scanners. The key benefits are compactness, large field of view and almost no lateral beam shift. The last application area is metrology. Wind LiDAR systems, for example, map the wind speeds at different altitudes by Doppler effect in 3D. Such systems are typically placed on the ground and are used to determine if a certain location will have sufficient wind to establish a profitable wind park. However, it could also be mounted on every wind turbine in order to predict wind gusts and optimize performance and reliability. Our 2D mirror can be used to acquire different LiDAR images and stitch them together. This leads to a larger field of view and higher resolution. Thanks for watching and see you soon!